Well, there's a question many environmentally conscious Mainers ask themselves when considering buying a new car. Should I get a fully electric vehicle or a hybrid? Well, for some, getting a fully electric car is a no-brainer because it's not emitting any pollution. However, as meteorologist Keith Carson tells us in our weekly series on Maine's changing climate, it's not that cut and dried. Electric vehicles have received a lot of attention, both positive and negative, in recent years. But are plug-in hybrids actually a more efficient way to decarbonize our transportation? That's what some, including Toyota, the world's largest automaker, are claiming. The argument goes something like this. Fully electric vehicles require a lot of raw materials and precious metals to produce. Batteries in EVs are getting larger and larger as consumers demand more range. Those raw materials could be better used by dividing them among several smaller batteries that could be put in traditional hybrid or plug-in hybrid vehicles. I asked Jaeger Malinowski of Berlin City Auto Group for his perspective. If you're looking at uh, materials required to build a long-range battery for a one EV, is exactly the same amount required for six plug-in hybrids or 90 regular hybrids. So what's, what does it all mean? Well, over the lifespan of each of those uh, vehicles, the hybrids, the 90 hybrids, will do 37 times of carbon reduction compared to one EV. To be clear, no one is debating that EVs are the lowest carbon product here on a one-to-one -one basis. Even after accounting for the higher carbon footprint of production, the full EV still produces lower carbon emissions over its lifetime compared to a plug-in hybrid, traditional hybrid, and of course, gasoline vehicles. But here's the rub. The average American drives 37 miles a day according to the Department of Transportation. Many plug-in hybrids have 20 to 40 mile all-electric range, which means, in theory, six drivers who get to and from work on all-electric power versus just one driver in the full EV. Put another way, the EV would have to drive over 200 miles a day to offset the same amount of emissions as six plug-in hybrids driving, quote, the normal amount. There are some counterpoints to the idea that hybrids are the best way forward. One is simple. Some plug-in hybrid owners don't actually charge their cars. According to a study by the International Council on Clean Transportation, private plug-in hybrid owners only charge their cars three out of four times, and fleet hybrid drivers only charged half the time, meaning the rest of the time the vehicle operated purely as a gasoline car. The other potential problem is that relying on hybrids could slow the development of battery technology, such as solid state and charging infrastructure. But for now, there might be room for all of it. I think full EVs, um, have a place in our society. I think, however, people should have options. And I think depending on the usage of the vehicle, hybrid right now makes the biggest sense. Keith Carson, New Center, Maine.